Hey guys, Tasha here from Stardust Gold Crochet. Today's tutorial is on wind stitch and how to clean up your images. Now cleaning up your images involves a lot of pixel, um, changing colors of pixels and just cleaning up strays. So let's get started and here's how you zoom. These little green buttons here, the left one is to zoom out and the right one is to zoom in. That's just a quick guide. You can look at my other wind stitch tutorials for all um, about how to use wind stitch entirely. So as you can see, if you right click here on the color and then you highlight, you can illuminate all of the colors that are in that color category. So you can see if you click down, it highlights the different colors. And as you can see, those are all within the black range. So when you import the image, we wanna to try to consolidate these colors down to as few as possible. So go up to your palette and you're gonna go down to search and replace. You choose the color you want to initially replace and then you choose the color on the right that you wanna replace it with. So we're gonna choose this navy color and replace it with black. Once you do that and click enter, you'll see that it consolidates the colors. And then if you want to drop the unused color off of your palette, you go to palette again, and you scroll down to remove all unused threads, and it will remove that from your palette. So that's basically what you're going to do, and you repeat this over and over again with all the colors that you'd like to consolidate into black. So we're gonna do that again and go up to a palette, search and replace. So we're gonna choose black this time. And we're gonna replace it with the other black because there's two blacks on here. So we want to consolidate them down to one. Then go up to palette and remove all the unused threads. You see it falls off there. So now we see we have purple that's kind of mixed in. These purples are dotted throughout. Then we have our skin color. And you can see throughout the skin color, there's these little flecks of other colors, these pixels. So we're gonna find which one that is. So just click on the different colors going down your palette until you find, there they are. So that's kind of like a stone gray or steel gray. So we wanna get rid of those steel grays and turn them into the flesh color. So we're gonna go back up to the palette with search and replace. Then we're gonna choose the steel gray and replace it with the flesh color. When you click enter, you'll see all those little dots within your skin color. Well, most of them at least will be gone. So you'll, we need to find those other colors there that are just kind of strays. There's another way you can replace the pixels. You can do it manually by choosing the color on your palette and then clicking the little dots one by one, which is very time consuming and that's why we like to use search and replace. So here we're going to see by highlighting the whites, we can highlight different colors to see where they're located on your actual graph. We're going back to the flesh color. Now this color can be consolidated into the flesh color. So we'll go back up to palette, search and replace. We're gonna choose that color and replace it with the flesh color. And that will get rid of all of those strays. And then we're gonna drop the unused colors from the palette. So we can have only the colors that remain. So when you unhighlight it, you can see that it looks much cleaner now. Your image is much cleaner. And here's a little tutorial on how to change the color of an entire color. So what we're gonna do here, I wanna change it to this blue color. This is a little bit about the blues. So we're gonna do replace or highlight. Well, first we're gonna highlight it. You can see there's a lot of strays in there too. So we wanna make those all blue. We're gonna replace the active thread with a different color. 
it'll bring up a color palette. Now you can see on the thread family that it's Red Heart because you actually have the option to use yarn colors from Red Heart, which is really great. But I don't find the electric blue that I like, so I'm going to change that to DMC, which is actual cross stitch threads. You can use those colors, and there's my electric blue that I want to use. So I'm going to highlight that and then replace it. And then when we unhighlight or remove the highlight, you'll see that our lavender is now blue, electric blue medium. And we have the two other lavenders below that that we're going to change over to blue as well. You can see them there speckled throughout the blue. So if we want to change all of those, you can do it manually by running your clicking and holding your mouse and running it over. But we're going to go ahead and use the highlight tool to see what things and then we're going to consolidate those. So we're going to go to palette and we're going to do search and replace. We're going to click our lavender and then click over with our electric blue and push enter. When it's highlighted, the stitches are highlighted, you can see it's red, so it's good to unhighlight it or dehighlight it, however you want to say it. Remove the highlight. Here we're going to replace the lavender with the electric blue again, and there you can see it's cleaned up pretty quick. So I'm going to do another one and replace some of those other strays with black. There's some black purple inside the black too. But that's the gist of how you clean up your image manually and also you can do it in a way where it's fast and quick. And you can see it looks much better now. All right guys, thanks for watching. Happy crocheting. If you have any questions, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and a like, and also hit the little notification bell to be notified of all my future tutorials. Take care.